Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's another video. Man, I'm trying to scream today as I'm making this video because I am tired of the volume being so low. So hello. If uh, if <laughs> I feel like I'm shouting, I feel like I'm shouting right now. Uh, but I'm gonna try to keep the volume up. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> so, all right. Um, well, I'm going to start this video off with a little uh, cherry tree update. You guys can see how uh, how dark some of these are. Incredible. Here, look at this. They're very tiny though, these cherries. They're not very big. Probably only good enough for a bird to nibble on. The background. Background. Sorry guys, if, if I suddenly start shouting, it's just that I got to remember to keep my voice loud. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? And I wish I could show you guys a little bit better, but back this way is just mountain. Hey, speaking of birds nibbling on the cherries, here's a good example. Looks like the birds have been eating these cherries clean. This is the stone in the middle. Pretty neat. I'm gonna try it out. That's really sweet. Wow. Mmm. Fantastic. That's some of the better cherries I've ever had. Tiny, but really sweet. Ah, I know what I'm gonna be doing after this video. Okay guys, um, today maybe I should just bring the camera a little bit closer uh, or I'll just speak louder. But anyways, Ooh. okay to the point, uh, to the point of the video. So on Saturday, this last Saturday, uh, my wife and I, the better part of me so to speak, um, we're on a, a drive. So these uh, beautiful mountains here. Um, around here, you got to drive two and a half hours to get to anything that looks like a big town, a big, like anything that's called a city. Uh, most of the areas here are going to be, uh, res it's like suburban, uh, what would look like an American suburb at best with um, a couple shopping malls, probably not even a movie theater, you know, very small um, area. Um, so there's a lot of mountains in nature. And um, yeah, so we were driving around. <clears throat> so on one of the, in the summers, there are these uh, mountain roads that crisscross the country these roads are often closed in the winter because of the snow and weather and it's just so then you got to drive the coastal roads but um the mountain roads are beautiful and very scattered on along these paths it's like national parks um very famous uh, national parks with camping uh, tourist uh, camping sites and all kinds of things really cool things I've never driven on the one particularly that crosses from here to like the capital. So uh, on Saturday, uh, my wife and I, they got these really nice charging stations because we're actually driving an electric car. And um, so they got all these charging stations, fast charger stations uh, crisscrossing the road. So now even, uh, even hippie wannabe electric car drivers like myself can go and... Um, can go and uh, enjoy these uh, really uh, beautiful routes. So um, on Saturday, mm, wow, they're good. Mm. Um, on Saturday, my wife and I we go on a drive, and um, and what's crazy is that uh, oh, I should mention. In advance before we go on this drive on Friday night I um, 
I recently changed my um, my smartphone's uh, background picture to an image of uh, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the Akiana portrait, the painting, the famous painting. And on Friday night, day before the drive, um, yeah, Friday night, I'm, God is like, okay, I want you to look at my portrait on your phone. So I, so I look at it and I uh, keep looking at it. He's like, he won't let me not look at it. So like it, I'm staring at it for like good 10 minutes and almost like I'm having a conversation with Jesus and, uh, and it's really cool. And, um, and like, here's the killer. Here's, the, here's the really cool thing. As I'm uh, looking at his portrait, his face changes, L literally, uh, Lord Jesus, the portrait changes and it resembles a, um, a Norwegian guy, blonde hair, blue eyes, curly though, mustache or beard. And, um, and I think, oh, that's crazy. It looks like a Norwegian guy. Like a young Norwegian guy, almost Viking-esque, young Viking. So it must have been the beard. <laughs> and uh, and I'm like, oh, cool. Maybe I'll find out why later. Crazy thing is, Saturday I go on a drive. And uh, we start lo running low on batteries because we got to drive up a mountain. And the mountains always kill the batteries because you got to drag the car uphill and that's very heavy on the batteries and motor. So after about an hour, two hour drive, it's time to charge. So we drive up to a charging station. And um, there's two fast chargers that fit my car. And they're both taken. One of them is this incredibly awesome Audi black. Um sports car fancy man that's got to be one expensive electric car and then the other one is a bmw i3 compact beautiful nice you know it's a good car but small it's like a, a tiny tiny mini car and uh the two guys are charging they're already out there and uh, they're chit-chatting outside uh, out of you know standing outside their cars so i i pull up and i i roll down my window and ask him hey guys are you guys gonna are you almost done charging or is it going to take a long time? And they're like, ah, maybe 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, so um, 20 minutes. Uh, so I'm like, okay, then I'll pull over to the side and I'll just wait. Um, and uh, as I'm waiting, another card rocks up and, uh, and is also going to charge. And I'm like, ah, oh, I was here first. You know, in my head, I'm thinking like, oh, I'm going to. I'm going to make sure I, uh, I don't lose my spot in the line here, you know. And I feel like at that time, I, f I feel like there's like this mental thing going on. And I'm like, and this guy that pulled over, he keeps looking at me all funny. Like, I'm gonna, like he's going to be the one that jumps in front of the line. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to set you straight, you know. I'm not the type of person that, that just idles as uh, when somebody else like, steps on my toes i'm just i've never been like that i mean it's it's a character flaw i understand i should be more meek but um so like and then uh 20 almost i got my timer on 20 minutes goes by and i'm getting ready to hurry up <laughs> and get in this situation so my car gets charged you know and, and I feel like, seriously, I'm not kidding. There, there's like this whole conversation going on in my head. And something from the outside is, is having this, con it's almost as if the angels are, you know, double checking that I'm keeping it squeaky clean here. And just as I'm thinking like, okay, all right, fine. If that dude jumps in front of me, I'm not going to make a stink. I'm just going to sit here and wait. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to sit this one out. What's the big deal? guess what just as I say that that dude drives away and like a minute after 
the two guys that are charging, they're, they finish charging. And the guy, another guy comes up to me and says, Hey, why don't you drive your car up? It's time to charge. Cool, cool. All right. So I drive my car up. And what's really weird is that the guy that was driving the i3, the little, the BMW i3, he's like, oh, get closer, get closer. I I'll plug in your car. And, and I thought, that's super nice. But that's very uncommon here in Norway. People don't do that for each other. Uh, I've lived here over 10 years. People just don't do that kind of stuff. It's not because they're rude. It's just not, nobody does that kind of stuff here. Nobody even opens doors or holds them open for each other. That's very uncommon. And I thought, hey, that's neat. And um, and like, and then I get out of the car because I got to scan my card to put in a charge in the machine so I can, you know, pay the money while I'm charging the car. And I'm distinctly aware of this uh, guy that's driving the i3. And I was like, hey, man, like just out of a joke, I said, do you know that guy that was charging his Audi? Uh, and he's like, no, I don't really know him. I just assumed that they knew each other because they were talking so much to each other while they were charging. Like there are two friends driving on a road trip together. And then I was led to ask like, hey, man, what did he do in his life to afford that Audi sports car? Just as a joke, you know, I mean, I'm driving a Nissan, not like I won the lottery or anything. And he's like, but I'm driving a nicer car. I mean, I was like, you mean the i3? Like, uh, I guess so. It's nice and uh, nice in the sense that it looks friendly, you know. And um, yeah, and he was just a generally nice fella and um, helped me out with the electric charge. And um, yeah, it was it was cool. That's all I got to say is that it was a super nice guy. Young guy. And I didn't pay, I didn't notice anything particular about the way he looked. Um, I just remember him reminded me of like maybe a college student or a recent graduate. And um, yeah. So... Uh, I dr after that incident, oh, and by the way, as I was driving the electric car in, he kept telling me to like pull it up closer because the electric cable here was a little bit short. I just had to make sure that I got really close so that he could get the cable in. And um, and there's a thing about that, like I'll, I'll try to get to later. But later on that evening when I came home, and uh, we had another Zoom hangout with our uh, chat group here, the 144K team, that everyone is actually invited through God's will, as a matter of fact. We won't invite people now unless God has literally told us to. And um, um, yeah, so after our Zoom meeting, you know, I uh, we hang up and then I'm looking at my phone and boom there's Jesus's portrait again and he's like I want you to keep looking at the portrait again keep looking keep looking so I look and the face changes again guess what whose face that was that was the dude that I saw at the electrical station electrical charge station <laughs> I was like wait 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 uh and he's like, that was me. Jesus Christ had literally come in disguise. And I thought, wow, crazy. And it, it did make sense to me in a personal level. There was a communication, a thing, an interlink. And I could see exactly what was going on. And uh, early in my supernatural conversion, I, I figured, God, how was I supposed to make, I thought Buddhism was true. I thought, and you know, and there was a moment in my, shortly after my conversion where I, I was in my living room and I was having a measuring tape. And uh, that measuring tape, I used, as I was praying, I was stretching it out and, and 
and as I was praying, I was stretching out the measuring tape. It was just something weird, you know? And I knew God could hear me because I had already had these crazy experiences, right? And as I was pulling out the measuring tape, I was making it hit the wall in front of me. And I was like, God, never let me like not connect with you. Whatever happens, you know, whatever happens, whatever crazy possibilities in the past or the future or whatever. Don't abandon me, Lord God. I don't want to be lost, you know. And uh, and also, God has used this feeling of electricity in my body to communicate with me before. So that was his way, his little insider riddle for me. The ca come closer, come closer. The cable here is a bit short. And then boom, making the cable fit, right? Just always Jesus making sure that we're going to get a connection. So uh, that was the video Lord God wanted me to make today. There's another one, pretty neat one coming up. Um, but I'm kind of working on uh, some video, getting access to some video edits so I can make, uh, it's got to do with some music, some recording where like angels are singing. And it ties in with another video I made earlier about uh, demons having access to your body if you're doing like yoga and meditation. Which is unfortunately the fact. It's the truth. Um, anyways, I hope this video inspired you. I hope I did a good job explaining a reasonably vague and strange thing. Especially with the electrical cable and the measuring tape and all that. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are have a blessed rest of the week. And may we praise and honor Lord God. And uh, seek to do His will constantly, continuously, and give Him praises and love. And I uh, pray that good things happen to you guys. Okay, bye. I'll see you in the next video.